Hi you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so today we are going to open all of these. Um, this is like all the stuff that I bought in November. So I've just been stockpiling it in my office. I haven't actually like opened any of it. Uh, like I've just like opened it and had a look to make sure everything was there, but I haven't actually used any of this stuff. I just put it back in the box and put it in my office because I want to be able to show it to you guys. So we are going to open this stuff right now. Oh my gosh. There's like so much stuff in here that I've just been so excited to try out, but I had to wait for you guys. Okay, so the first thing, I feel like there's one, there's one of, one of these is missing. Okay, maybe I didn't put them all in back in here. I don't know, but I know that they were all here when I started. Um, so the first one is from Scentbird. If you don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is a perfume um, subscription. So I got Dolce & Gabbana, the one and only. I got Versace uh, Eros. I don't know if that's how you say it. Please don't come for me if I said it wrong. And I got Burberry, my Burberry blush. So they're just like little sample um perfumes yeah, uh, men can use it too so it's a perfume and a cologne subscription this is what the little tube looks like and this one is burberry my burberry blush okay so let's smell it oh wow this one's definitely gonna be like one of my go-to perfumes for sure that one's really nice they all come in these little like um cardboard tubes as well so you can keep all of your scents in these little tubes you can kind of write on the side of it what it is if you want that's what i do and i also get with mine so they some of them come in this little pouch like if you get if you get the holder it comes in this little pouch and every month i try to get one of the holders or one of the dispensers as well so this is what it looks like and you just turn it like so the little perfume pops up at the top see and then you can just push it to spray it but you can also take your perfumes out and interchange them so if you wanted to put a different one in the holder you can and this is kind of so you can stick it in your purse and it's not going to leak everywhere it's not going to get all over everything so um this one that's in here Oh, this is the Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know why, but I freaking love uh, D&G scents. Dolce & Gabbana is like my, they just know my scent profile, okay? Like I have not met a Dolce & Gabbana perfume that I didn't like, and that's it, like it's so good. So um, now I have, I think I've been getting this for like three months now. Last month, I forgot to pick my scents, and so I just got, like, whatever. I just got random scents, whatever they sent me. And then this month, I got to pick all of my scents, so I'm pretty happy with what I got. Um, the third one is obviously in my office somewhere. I must have used it throughout the month. So, yeah, I Scentbird is, um, it gives you 100, and, I think it's 120 sprays. So each tube is supposed to last you at least 30 days. And the main reason why they came out with this is because um, so that you can try perfumes before you buy a whole bottle, right? I think that's awesome because now I have so many different perfumes, right? Okay, the next one is actually um, from Brittany Marsh. And I actually won this on her, she has a new skin page and she had like a little contest going on on there. So I actually won this and this is the Epic Ice Dancer Invigorating Leg Gel. So it's just like, um, it's like one of the, it's like deep heat or something like that. It's a muscle relaxing gel. And it's for if you have sore muscles or if you have like leg cramps or something, you put this on and it kind of calms that down and i also won the ap toothbrush so this is like 
a technical toothbrush. It has four layers of bristles that are all different sizes and it's supposed to really, really clean your teeth and get in between your teeth. And I also won the whitening toothpaste, but I already used it and it's so, so good. Like really, really good toothpaste. Um, it tastes like, it tastes like minty vanilla. It's so good. Oh my gosh. So yes, that is from Miss Brittany Marsh. Thank you so much, Brittany. I love it. I've actually been wanting one of those um, AP toothbrushes because my kids stole, I got one and my kids stole it. So I've really been wanting to try that again. Okay, the next one is from Wakeheart. And you guys know I have a code with Wakeheart. My code is WIT Binding. If you go to www.wakeheart.com, you guys are more than welcome to use my code and get 15% off. Um, so they sent me, um, they sent me a couple of scents this month. Um, one of them is in my office. It's called, um, sunlit sensations i did just post a video of it on instagram if you guys are wondering about it it's more of like a warm like i would say it's more of a warm autumn scent that's that's my that's what it smells like to me but everybody has a different um uh a different opinion of different scents right um they also sent me the grayson dolan um signature scent so this is, this one's like a really clean, like fresh scent. It, it smells like clean. It smells like a, someone who's just gotten out of the shower and they just smell really fresh and yummy. Um, so yeah, that one's super nice. This company is all vegan, cruelty free. Um, they do um, bath bombs, candles, um, fragrances so and it's all non-gender specific so all of their stuff can be used by both men and women and yeah I think it's so cool um, I also have the Ethan Dolan signature scent here I have the Con conscious conversations scent I have uh, they also sent me the healing crystal quartz candle so I'll just show you guys the candle so you can see like the size of it and stuff so this is one of their candles their candles burn for 55 hours like my other one my clarity candle I use it every single day I'll show you guys I just have them in here in the boxes because for whenever I have to do like PR videos and stuff but this one I use it every day and I barely even made like a dent in it so they burn for 55 hours and see how it has that little spot right there? It's because it has a stone in the bottom. So when you burn it all the way down, there's a crystal in the bottom of the, of the candle. So uh, we got all these awesome scents from Wakeheart and these candles. I think um, it's time for us to try some bath bombs maybe from them. Um, but yeah. So the um, Wakeheart sent me that for PR. Thank you so much, Wakeheart. I love it. I love all the scents. I think that, I don't know, I just think they're a really forward-thinking brand, and I love it. Okay, the next thing that we got is BoxyCharm. This is, this is just my base box from BoxyCharm. So let's see. Uh, this is the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. So this is what the package looks like. And it's just like a purple tube. It just looks like a regular mascara. It's like a dark, dark um, burgundy color tube. I think it's a black mascara. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna open it just in case I don't end up using it and then I will be able to give it away. I usually try if I can not to open my um beauty products because sometimes they don't get used and then i end up giving them to people this is the trick and treat lip balm berry balm with a natural tint this is by the brand hey honey and does it say the shade it doesn't say the shade i don't think i don't think it has a shade 
That's weird. Oh, I guess Berry Balm is the shade. So it's this berry colored lip balm. Super cute. I'm like not a huge fan of tinted lip balms, but every once in a while I will try them out. This one is the, okay, let's do that last. Um, this is the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser by Kate Somerville, Skin Health Experts. I love Kate Somerville products. I think they are so good. And this is a goat's milk cleanser. Um, it's moisturizing cleanser. It looks like made with soothing goat milk and nourishing honey to gently cleanse and remove impurities. So this is what she looks like. Awesome. I actually am getting to the bottom of one of my cleansers, so I'm going to be opening a new one very, very soon. Um, and then I got the Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner with, it's with vegan probiotics and prickly pear extracts. I actually might have a bad reaction to this. It's so pretty, though. But So this is what the package looks like. This is so, it just looks so like satisfying. Look at this toner looks so satisfying. It's all milky. Um, but I am allergic to pears. So I might have a reaction to it. I don't know. I will have to do a spot test with this and see if my skin reacts to it because I am actually really allergic to pears. So we will see how it goes. Okay, and then the last product that we got is the Violet Boss Violet Sunset, um, what do you call it, eyeshadow palette. I was having a hard time getting that out, holy. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's just like, a, like, like nudes and it's mostly nudes. And then a couple of purples. Honestly, I probably won't use this palette because I have so many palettes that are this same color scheme. Um, this color story is, yeah, I just have lots and lots of palettes with that have this color story. And honestly, I don't, I tend to not really use this color story too much because I'm not really a soft glam person. We all know. I am not a soft glam person. I'm just a glam person. So, yeah, I don't think, I think I'm probably going to give this away. This. So, you know what? I'm going to give away a um, makeup box. If you guys go down below into the comments, if you have made it this far and you go into the comments and you leave a comment, I will put this palette in your box because I'm not going to use it. So make sure you guys go down, leave a comment. Let me know um, if you're interested in winning. Let me know if you guys like seeing these kind of hauls and stuff, because then I'll do more of them. So whoever wins is going to win that eyeshadow palette, because I am not going to use it. It's going to sit here and collect dust. I will also fill the box with like, I'll probably send five full size products. So, okay, BoxyCharm number two. This is the BoxyCharm premium box. This box is so good, like so, so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got the Girl Lactic Rose Petal Lip Gloss. So I'm pretty sure this is a lip gloss that has, oh yeah, see, it has like rose petals in it. Super cute. The packaging is so cute. It's like a little test tube packaging. I'm obsessed with this. Yeah, this is definitely like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm, I love it. Okay, and then we got this. These are the Rodeal Blush Drops. I've never used a liquid blush before. Like, I don't know what to expect from this.
It's just like a liquid highlight. It's not, let's see if I can show you guys. Oh, I don't think my camera's gonna pick it up, but it's like just, it's not colored. It's just like a liquid highlight. If you guys hear little feet, that's cause Timber is down there. Um, yeah, honestly, I'll probably use this as highlight or I'll probably just give it away because I don't think I'm gonna get a whole lot of use out of it. Timber, come here. Stop trying to eat stuff. Sorry, you guys, my dog is a nuisance. And he um, comes in my room, steals stuff, and then eats it, so. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, a hair serum. So those who know me know that I am so obsessed with hair masks, hair serums, like this is my shit. I love hair health and hair growth. So um, this is by Sutra. This is the SB2 by Sutra Rejuvenating Hair Serum. It's paraben free. Apply directly to hair, spreading evenly from roots to ends. Use on damp hair pr prior to blow drying or apply to dry hair immediately after heat styling um, to seal and prevent split ends and moisture loss. Okay, so this is what she looks like. And let's see what the bottle looks like. Oh wow, that's a good size bottle for a hair serum. It's just like, it's just a regular pump on top. This is a really nice packaging though. So we're gonna have to try that out this week after I wash my hair. I'm gonna try this and see if it works as good as my usual hair serum. Okay, and then we got, what's this? Um, the Better Skin Co. I Bright Now Anti-Puff Anti-Dark Circle Serum. This is, like, this looks, this bottle looks like a hippie bottle. Look at the packaging. That's so cute. They always send things in BoxyCharm that I'm, like, not expecting. I love that. Um, I definitely love Bright Eye Serum, so I will probably use that. And then the, I got the locket. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> the locket powder foundation by KVD Beauty. So this is in Rich Deep Twenty Five, and you know what? I've been hearing so many good things about this foundation. I am not necessarily a powder foundation girl, but. I've been hearing a lot of good things. So first of all, it comes with a little sponge to apply it. This is what the package looks like or what the container looks like. Like it's a little compact, but it looks like it has um, like a wax stamp on the top of it of KVD. It's so cute. And then this is what the inside looks like. So. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try it out. I will probably try it on live and we will see how it goes. I'm not one for powder foundations, but I've been hearing nothing but good things about this. Okay. The last thing that I got is this little perfume here. It's called Riddle. And I'm telling you guys, this is the, the best perfume that I have ever smelled in my entire life. Like I, I ordered, I went right on BoxyCharm and ordered a second one because this smelled so good. So it's just like a rollerball perfume. It smells phenomenal. Like this is what I just want to take a bath in it. It smells so freaking good. This is one of the best things I have ever smelled in my entire life. I cannot tell you how good this, this perfume is. Like I legit went right as soon as I opened it, 
I went on BoxyCharm and bought a second one because I was scared it was going to sell out and I wouldn't be able to get it again. So that's my BoxyCharm. Those are my two BoxyCharm boxes for this month, you guys. And like I said, I am going to give away that, um, that eyeshadow palette because I'm probably not going to use it. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Just wait, you guys, because this was a slow month for me. Okay, the next thing that I got is I got this Glamorous You Wax Collection from Scentsy. It came in this cute little gift bag. And these are all... I don't know this is it was a collection where you get like five waxes for um 30 bucks or something like that so i got it but i don't know i'm someone who normally uses um like glade or like the gain or febreze waxes or like the unstoppables waxes and i'm used to my waxes being really really strong so I think that like Scentsy waxes are not as strong as those ones so um but I got this orange one it's called Born to Shine oh I got I'm not going to describe all the scents to you because this one's like a I will this one's like a citrusy one um this one is called Dazzling Darling and it's a green wax see this one, the Born to Shine one. See, this one smells like, like a really like soft, subtle, perfumey type smell. Um, it's really nice actually, and it is orange. This one's probably the one that I've used the most this month. This one is called With Grace. This one smells like like really sweet baby powder, and it's called With Grace. Um, this next one, these ones are pink. Let's see? The next one is called Keep It Sassy, and it smells like a berry blend. And the last one is called Sweet, Sweet But Fierce. This is more of like, this one's kind of sour. Like, it smells like, I don't know, it smells like sour grapes or something. And this one's Sweet But Fierce. And it is purple. So, oh, and I also got the Disney Villains wax, which is purple. Um, honestly, I hate the smell of it. I hate it. It smells like, I don't know. It smells like, like old raisins or something. I don't know. I don't like it. It's not for me. And then I also got the Justice League scent as well. And this one's not really for me either. This, for me, this, I think this smells like, like Old Spice or like Axe Body Spray, Axe Body Spray or something. Like it smells like, that's, that's kind of what it smells like. I don't know. Honestly, I just, I really wanted to order Scentsy to kind of support a friend, right? But I don't, I, I, would I order it again? Maybe but I think that it's not, I don't love it. It's not my cup of tea. I like stronger scents and yeah, I just found that with, with the Scentsy scents, I, I ended up having to change them more. Um, some of, sometimes some of them I had to put two squares in and so I think for the price of them, it, probably isn't really worth it for me to buy them again but that's just me uh, everybody has their preference right do not come for me sensi um sensi consultants please okay the next thing that i got is the beauty by bianca and doe color 15 piece makeup brush set so this i ordered myself with my own money and the brushes are so freaking cute, you guys. I've been dying to use these, but I've been saving them to open with you guys. 
So the brushes are, they have little butterflies on them and then they have like the gold handles and the gold and white handle. I have been waiting so long to use these. I've had them for most of the month actually. And I just have not opened them because I wanted to open them with you guys. And I wanted to try them out with you guys. So they've been sitting there collecting dust, waiting for me to open them. Um, so it comes with 15 brushes, a couple of face brushes, a couple of um, eyeshadow brushes, and it, it comes with a little booklet telling you what each brush is for. Super, super cute. So we're gonna crack these open probably this week and start trying them out. Definitely. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. The next one that we have is a Morphe. These two are both Morphe. So, oh, I forgot I even got this. Oh my God. The first one that we got is the Morphe Jaclyn Jaclyn Hill brush set. So I'm pretty sure that this was on sale and, and that's why I got it. So these are all face brushes. We're going to be trying these out this week as well. I just really have been wanting to buy some new face brushes um, lately. So I got all of these ones super cute i'll take one out so you guys can see they are silver with silver with the white handle and it says morphe x jacqueline hill on the handle these are really really cute brushes and it looks like they are really good quality brushes as well so we got that and of course it comes with a little glitter case to keep them in. I never really use cases for my brushes actually. I guess I maybe I should start separating them into collections and kind of just use that collection during my lives because um, that might make it a little easier to post. Okay, and then I got the Avani Greg Vacation Luminous Bronzer. This is in the shade Hawaii, so this is the package. Yes, you guys, this is a bronzer. Look at the size of it. Huge. It's like the size of my entire hand. Like, this is what it looks like. Hold on. This is what it looks like inside. It has an Avani pan stamp on it. And yes, it is the size of my entire hand. Like, look, this thing takes up my whole palm. So pretty big bronzer. And I just really wanted to try it out. Um, I've been really starting to get into bronzers a little bit more and contouring. I've been really trying to practice contouring and different kinds of contouring, different um, uh, products. So that's why I felt like I needed to get this. And it's huge and it was on sale. So that is why. Okay, the next one I got, and this was on sale too, is the Morphe Lisa Frank collection. So freaking cute. This is the 35B by Lisa Frank Artistry Collection. And this is what the palette looks like on the outside. And then it opens like this. And it opens like this. It has the little mirror inside. And you guys, look at that palette so so pretty like the ultimate um rainbow palette but i do find that for a rainbow palette like the colors are a lot darker they're the colors are very like deep 
Um, they're not like super, super bright rainbow. They're more like deeper colors of rainbow, which is kind of nice. I really like that. Okay, so that is all for that order of Morphe. And then, so this was the pre-Black Friday Morphe. So I ordered it and it got here like within one day. So this, so these were my pre-Black Friday, like the Black Friday pre-sale makeups. Put these in there. And then we got our Black Friday. Friday order. This is huge, you guys. There is so much stuff in here. So I paid $212 for everything that's in this box. And when you guys see how much stuff. Okay, so I got this. First things first, I got a Morphe face mask. I love these. Every time I see that they have a new design on there, I always get it because their face masks are such good quality and they're only $5, $4. Four, they're 4 or $5, I think. And the the mask is such good quality, like yeah, I just get it. Every time I order Morphe, I usually order a face mask because they're they're just really nice masks and they come packaged in this little plastic packaging very very cute okay let's start <laughs> let's start with these ones so we got the totally tan um complexion pro palette this is the summer collection bronzing palette so it comes with bronzers blush and highlight and this, uh, this is like the summer collection. It's the 8T palette. Super cute. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in their boxes after. This is the That's Rich 8R palette. So this is more of like the winter collection of that same palette. Oh, let me take the plastic. And so it's a little bit darker. There we go. I think that this one is probably the one that I will use the most. Um, the 8R. I feel like that is definitely my shade. I have like three of these palettes and honestly I think the 8R is definitely going to be the one for me that I use most often and that I feel most comfortable with in so all the palettes on morphe for black friday were on sale for like 15 bucks so i just bought every single palette that i wanted because they were cheap we got the 1971 coca-cola collection that is this palette right here so so cute and this is what it looks like on the front. And it has like the little the little mirror inside with all the little flower details as well. Don't mind all my laundry right there on my dresser. Oh no. I just scraped it with the um I just scraped one of the colors with the plastic and went all over my nice white bed. Okay, and then we got the Ashley Strong Morphe Collab. Such a cute palette, like so, so cute. So this palette is called Affirmation Magic. Um, Oh, she's like really in there good. This palette is so cute. It opens like this. And it's very different from most of the other palettes by Morphe. This one is very like um, dark colors, 
just yeah it's very different more majestic colors in it um and on one side of the cover it talks about letting go and on the other side of the cover it says it talks about how to slow down so i really really am connected to this palette i love it i think it's beautiful and i just love the the message right i'm someone who definitely buys things that have that have a good message and i feel connected to this palette in that way i like that every time i open this palette it's going to remind me to do some self-care so there's a little message on the back of it from Ashley Strong. Uh, I can't get it back in the box. Let me see. I do keep all my palettes in their boxes and I also do keep them with the plastic on them just in case like they get knocked around because I do have a lot of kids. Um, just in case they get knocked around or anything so they don't get, sh uh, the colors don't get broken. Okay, the next ones that we have, get all this stuff out of here. Okay, the next one that we have is the Morphe Cherry Coke collection. I, I didn't get the whole collection, I just got the palettes. For most of them this is so cute okay so here's the box nice vintage cherry coke logo on there and then this palette is a tin palette the container that the palette is in is like a tin container it's so cute it's like one of it reminds me of like one of those old pencil cases those like tin pencil cases from when we were in like high school and stuff and um this is what she looks like. So cute. Okay, the next one we have is this Morphe Mickey Mouse. This is the Morphe Mickey hand mirror. This is the Mickey and Friends hand mirror. So cute. The Mickey and Friends packaging is so freaking cute too. So this is the box that it comes in and you can see the little back of the mirror on it. The, the mirror is called Totally Irresistible. And then we also have the Morphe Mickey and Friends ex Express Every Side of Hue palette. This is, oh, sorry, this is the um, Truth Be, what's it called? Truth Be Bold, there we go. For some reason, it will not, this palette is like really, really in there good. I remember like when it first got here and I was trying to take it out, I was having a hard time getting it out then as well. So, this is what the box looks like and then this is what the palette looks like it is the cutest palette ever you guys so this is what it looks like and it has a few little mickey pan stamps on there as well such a cute rainbow palette it has a few super bright colors 
It has a few um, dark shades. All of the shades in this palette are very like true. Um, they have like a true red, a true orange, a true yellow, you know? Um, yeah, just a phenomenal palette. I have not tried it, but aesthetically it's very pleasing. It's very beautiful, very attractive palette. Oh my gosh. I know this is a really long video, you guys. We are almost done. I promise, promise, promise. We are almost at the end. Okay, the next one is the Desert Bouquet Palette. This is a 35D, cutest box ever. And this is what the palette looks like. And this is so cute as well. And all of these palettes were like $14, $15. So yeah, we got them all for super cheap. Um, they were not expensive at all. Like I said, all these Morphe palettes, I paid, I paid $212 for everything that I've just opened. So like such a good deal. Um, and Morphe just has good deals to begin with. Like they always have good deals. I very rarely do I go on their site and not leave with something without and like leave without ordering. So this is the Fierce by Nature. This is the um, 350, uh, 3503, sorry. And this palette is so cute. It just has that random pop of green in the middle which I think is like the cutest thing ever. This palette is also um, a hardcover palette, which is which you don't see very often with Morphe palettes. Well, I haven't seen very often. Maybe it is common with some of their palettes, but I haven't seen any. That's my first hardcover palette that wasn't a face palette. Okay, and our last palette is the Nikita Dragon palette. It is so cute. Look at the little Nikita Dragon cartoon on the back with the little message. And this palette is also very stunning. So this is what the front looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. There's a little bit of everything in there. There's some nudes across the top. And then we got some brighter, more crazier colors in the bottom parts of the palette. So yeah, very, very cute. We got a couple of pressed um, glitters in there as well as some duochromes. So yeah, it's, it's very, very stunning palette as well. Okay, so that is it for palettes. So the last thing that we got from Morphe, and this is the last thing all together, you guys. I promise you can have your life back now. Um, the last thing that we got is... We got this um, Perk Up Cheek and Lip Color. This is like um, a cream blush, and I don't have a whole lot of cream blushes. That's why I wanted to get this. The freaking package is so cute, look. Uh, and this is what color it is. This is what it looks like. So I got this because I really wanted to get another cream blush. And this one's in the shade Berry Dreams. I got two Morphe brow creams. One is in the shade Java and one is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. These are my general go-to shades from Morphe. Like when I buy my brow pencils, when I buy my brow creams, I always get Java or Chocolate Mousse in case anyone was wondering. And then I also got two liquid lip colors. I don't have any liquid lips from Morphe, so I don't know how great they are but I really wanted to try this shade Sweet Tea 
and I also got the shade Taunt. Um, these are both like kind of nude, nude shades. This one's a little bit more, well, let's pull it out and have a look. Yeah, so this one's a little bit more um, of a warm tone. The Taunt is a little bit more like pink. And then the Sweet Tea shade is more of a, um, like a nude color. It's more of like, it's closer to my skin tone, so I'll probably use it a lot, actually. So yeah, that is all of our stuff that we bought this month. I know, you guys, it was freaking tons of stuff. It was insane. And, um, but if you guys comment down below, I will do a giveaway and I will give away some free makeup. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Make sure you guys also go over and um, comment and like the Instagram posts because we do have a contest that's ongoing on Instagram every single week. I give away $25 on every Friday um, for people who engage with my posts and just kind of put their... Um, put put a like or put a comment on the post all you have to do is engage over there on instagram and you will be entered to win there's also a makeup contest going on on my page right now on facebook so you guys can go over and get in on that as well i hope that you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching bye